Hello, Niv, and welcome back to Hona Headline News. My name is Ebony. And I'm Lorelai, and, and we're, we're your anchors for this week's broadcast. We have some exciting segments this week, but first, announcements. Just a few dates to remember, January 18th is the last day to add a class, and February 1st is the last day to drop a class. You can do so through your counselor or Hona Hub. We're excited to announce HDA's 2023 prom will be hosted at Hilton Hawaiian on Wednesday, April 21st. Tickets will be going on sale soon. Returning students, if you plan on returning to HTA next year, make sure you re-enroll by February 2nd. Student support starts on January 23rd, so if you're getting a D or below, make sure to get your grades up before then. Thank you to our HTA community for donating over 1,500 books and for funding supplies on Donor Choose. Pack Club will be working hard to set up library shelves on both campuses in early semester two. Now that we've got the announcements out of the way, time for our segments. Lorelai, what are your goals for this year? My goal is to help as many people as I can. Let's see what the students have to say. All right, I'm here with Xavier. And what are your goals for the new year? Uh, get accepted into a good college and move on. <laughs> nice. I'm here with Ellie. And Ellie, do you have any goals for the new year? Probably to get straight A's and make more friends. Same. All right, I'm here with Kai. And Kai, what are your goals for the new year? I want to get to know more people and I want to succeed in school. And then also I want to um, do well in my baseball for Copley. Very nice. All right, I'm here with Kaylee. And Kaylee, do you have any plans for the new year? Um, yes I do. Um, I want to stay more consistent in the things I'm passionate about and um, stay more focused because last year I wasn't that focused, but this year I will be. Hello, I'm here with Ivana. And what are your goals for the new year? My main goal is to blow up. My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Zane. Zane, what are your goals for this year? To think. To think. To think about what? Haven't thought about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm here with Aubrey. And Aubrey, do you have any plans for the new year? I'm glad you asked. Actually, I'm going to be running for president in 2024. This year I'll be doing a lot of campaigning and I am looking for vice president options. So if you're open, um, hit my line. Thank you. Um, Aubrey Bryant, 2024. Woo! Okay. Teacher feature segment starring Mr. Kaleo. Hi, thank you so much for meeting with me, Mr. Kaleo. It means a lot. I found out that you were into advocacy and being an advocate um, specifically for mental health and all of that kind of stuff. And I really wanted to chat with you about that today. And so my first question is going to be, what does adv advocacy mean and what does it mean to you specifically? Okay. Um, advocacy means like you're a person that is um, helping uh, another group of people um, by showing support, education, um, resources, things like that. And I think that as an advocate, I was able to, because I started off as a teacher and as an advocate, I was able to go into the lives of the students, not necessarily the direct students that I'll be working with, but youth in general, to have better perspective of what they're dealing with in school so that um, I could be a better support there, not just in education, but holistically. Yeah, that's really cool. And um, what brought you on this journey specifically to advocate for the youth? 
So I started teaching when I was 19 years old, and um, every year I'd have kids that were always, I guess, not just targeted, but um, there was a lot of kids that were having difficulty in their academics. And when I was able to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with them, what happened was they were uh, they would disclose that, you know, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. And um, so I did some research on my own about it. And I thought that doing the research and working with the students at my school wasn't going to be enough. And so I started to um, work with like small groups, like nonprofits. And then I started looking at what youth groups were suffering the most, and it was the LGBT youth group, because or youth population, because there was many of the youth at that time that were dying by suicide, or attempting suicide, or dropping out of school, or not going to college, and being bullied. And so, because I saw that there was a huge need there, I focused a lot of my attention on LGBT youth, uh, or the whole acronym LGBTQIA youth. But mainly, I focus on youth for mm -hmm. the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's that's really inspiring, honestly, especially to focus on the youth and to focus on the LGBTQIA community. And just one more question sure. for you. Um, what do you feel like a typical day where you're really focusing in advocacy, like certainly like volunteering or helping, like what does that day look like for you and how do you go about your day with that? Okay, um, a day of advocacy is every day for me. So even though when I'm not like not at school, I'm still acting the part or I'm still being the part outside of school as well. Like looking at how I can improve myself. How can I um, eat better? How can I be more respectful? If I get in a situation where I'm angry and I could be disrespectful in that situation, how do I apologize? And how do I take responsibility and come back and fix the relationship? <laughs> always learning, always growing. Um, I do that in my everyday life. It's a calling, right? So when you get called to the position, like teaching, being a director, whatever it is, I think that to answer your question is like, it's everything. It's like from waking up to when you go to sleep, you know? And that's what my typical day like looks like. Not necessarily here, there, at the group home, but in life, yeah. you know? So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much. That was really inspiring, and I just want to say thank you for building up a safe community at the school, and we really appreciate it, so thank you. Thank you. Now to our final segment, On This Day with Sarah. The federal holiday in the United States, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, marks his birthday and is observed on the third Monday of January each year. It has been named a National Day of Service as a way to motivate all Americans to volunteer and help their communities. On Monday, January 16, as well as the days that follow, AmeriCorps invites you to become involved in your community and take positive action. You may also carry on Dr. King's vision of social justice and equity by volunteering to assist others. You can support those who are food insecure, tidy up a public place, or mentor a young person. Thank you, Sarah, for that on this day. Once again, we are your hosts. I'm Ebony. And I'm Lorelai. Signing, Signing off. Ta-ta, Turtles. Catch you later.